Hello everyone. After a long wait, today we will come with our new video. Today we will discuss the voltage comparator by using op amp. Okay. We all know that a open loop op amp act as a comparator, right? And here you can see this one is an open loop op amp, right? As there is no closed loop from output to input. Okay. And here you can see we are giving input in two terminal, non-inverting terminal 2 volt and inverting terminal 4 volt. Okay. And now we need to see what will be the output. As per our knowledge, the output should be minus V set, right? As the V minus is 4 volt, which is greater than the V positive is 2 volt, right? So V minus is greater than V plus. That means the output we should get is minus 15 volt. Let's do the simulation and check the output. Here you can see the output is minus 15 volt, right? So if I change the positive input voltage from plus 2 volt to plus 5 volt, then the output should be plus 15 volt, right? So here you can see the output changed to plus 15 volt. Now it's plus 15 volt, right? So the a open loop op amp act as a comparator, right? Now I will show you if I give a AC input of an op amp, then what we can see. This is a circuit where I just grounded the negative terminal of an op amp and I give an AC voltage in the positive input terminal. Okay. And here the voltmeter will read the output voltage and this voltmeter will read the input voltage. Okay. Blue waveform will be the output voltage and the green waveform will be the input voltage. Right. So here you can see we saw a squared wave. Why? As here the input voltage is keep changing, right? The for the positive half cycle, input voltage at the positive terminal is higher than the inverting terminal voltage, right? That means V plus is greater than V minus, right? That means the output should be positive V set. And here we can see that the output is plus 15 volt, right? When the non-inverting voltage change from positive to negative at that time, the inverting terminal voltage is greater than the non-inverting terminal voltage. That means the output should be minus V set, right? So in the simulation, we can see that the output is minus V set. And as the input voltage is sine wave, so we got the square wave, right? Where the positive terminal voltage is keep changing from positive to negative as a sine wave. So as a result, we got the output is a square wave, right? We can call it as a zero crossing detector, right? That means whenever the input voltage crosses the zero point at that time, the output voltage change from positive to negative or negative to positive, right? And we also can see this kind of thing by some LED. You can do this kind of experiment in your home. What we need to do? Just add a LED light here, this is an LED. Okay. So I just connect this LED with a resistance such that this LED will not burn, right? So you can see whenever we got the positive piece at the time, the LED is turned on and Whenever the output voltage is minus V set at that time, the LED is turned off. So we can say that when the volt input voltage is changing from the positive to negative at that time, you can see LED is turned off. And when it's just turned on at that time, we can say that the input voltage start from change from negative to the positive. Okay. So this is called the zero crossing detector. Now I will explain you in the theory why we get this kind of output or why a open loop op amp act as a comparator. Let's go to the pen and paper. I already show you that a open loop op amp act as a comparator by the simulation, right? Now we need to see that one. We all know that our output of an op amp is V0 equal to A D V D plus AC into VC, right? So we all know that a, uh, for an idle op amp, the CMRR should be infinite, right? And we all know that the CMRR is nothing but AD by AC. 
we assume that this is a idle op amp for idle op amp cmr will be infinite right if the cmr is infinite that means the a t by a c is infinite that means the ac should be zero so we can write down v0 is equal to a d into v d right where the v d is equal to differential voltage that means v plus minus v minus right so we can rewrite this equation that v0 is equal to a d into v plus minus v minus right and for the idle op amp the voltage gain should be infinite right so we can write down v0 is equal to a0 or open loop gain aol multiplied by v plus minus v minus okay so this is the equation of the output voltage of the op amp okay so now we can see let's go to the next page so we got the equation v0 is equal to aol into v plus minus v minus right now suppose v plus is greater than v minus then what will happen then we can write down v0 is equal to aol into positive okay now we know that aol is infinite right that means we will get the output will be positive infinite voltage right but an op amp cannot give you the positive infinite voltage right so what will the output the output will be the maximum input voltage we provided to the op amp that is nothing but the positive v saturation voltage so we will get the voltage will be plus v sat right now let's see the another case when v minus is greater than v plus at that time we can write down v0 is equal to aol into negative right that means minus negative infinite volt right here also we cannot get the minus infinite volt that means we will get the minus v set as the minus v set is the minimum voltage we can get from an open so we can write down if v plus is greater than v minus then v0 is equal to plus v set and if v plus is less than v minus v0 is equal to minus v set okay so you can see here this op amp works as an comparator okay now this is a very common question in many inverses question i saw this kind of problem okay for the first problem problem 1 you can see that in the v minus terminal we got 2 volt and for the v plus we got 4 volt right and they want to know what will be the value of v0 okay so we, we we can see that the positive terminal voltage is greater than the negative terminal voltage right so the output should be plus v set okay here you can see the plus v set is plus 12 volt and minus v set is minus 10 volt right output will be plus v set that means plus 12 volt okay no problem for the next problem you can see that the v0 is equal to minus v set why as v minus is greater than v plus right here minus v set is minus 10 volt so it's a very simple problem now i will show you the zero crossing detector here you can see for the positive half cycle the input voltage v plus is greater than v minus for positive half cycle right that means for the positive half cycle from this point what will the output the output will be v0 is equal to plus v set here we assume that plus v set is plus 15 volt that means for the positive half cycle we will get the output voltage should be plus 15 volt right and in this point in this point you can see that this is just crossing the zero point right that means the this is point a that means at point a b minus is greater than b plus that means the output will be minus v set equal to minus 15 volt that means it will be changed from plus 15 to minus 15 so we can get a beautiful square wave okay so this is the concept of the zero 
crossing detector okay so that's all for this video see you in the next video i think for the next video i will start the previous year question paper for the jam net or the other examination okay so i will start with the previous year question paper of the jam okay thank you bye bye thanks for your time please do share this concept with your friends and if you like this video please press the like button it is really means a lot for me bye bye